actually end the book with this sort of metaphor of, uh, well, not the book, but the introduction, with this question of this marriage of work, of worker centers and traditional unions, will it be fruitful and multiply? You know, it's, that's the question. I don't think anyone really can predict the answer to that, but I think we have seen, just in the time we did this project, which is just the last few years, um, increasing synergies between the two. You know, the way I see it is they started out as mutually very suspicious of each other. Um, unions thought, who are these kids? They are mostly very young people, right? No money. How are they going to ever do anything, right? I'm sure you've run into that. And on, at the worker center side, too, many of the leaders were skeptical and said, you know, these unions, they're dinosaurs. They don't know how to deal with this kind of workforce. It's just never going to work. And over time, I, again, first in California, but increasingly nationally, there's been much more mutual appreciation and collaboration, um, partly out of desperation, admittedly, on the union side especially, but really on both sides. But I think the worker centers have come to appreciate the benefits of lasting permanent organization and what it takes to sustain that on the one side. And the, work, and the, um, and the unions have recognized the creativity of the, the alt-labor worker center, whatever you want to call it, world, and how they really can learn from that and that you know, the old ways are no longer viable. So I'm actually pretty optimistic that the marriage will be a happy one, but I think we're just at a very, we're in the honeymoon period, <laughs> and it's hard to know. Um, so, and the, the membership question is, you know, is also about resources. That's the one thing that with all their travails, unions still have a lot of resources. Worker centers have very few. What they do have is mostly thanks to philanthropy. Mm. So, you know, there is, there's space there for uh, fruitful collaboration, but the danger, I think, is what's sometimes called a vanguard coalition, where the, the unions do pitch in, but then they want to take over, and that could be very dangerous. <laughs>